Today I'm going to be fishing my favorite pond from the bank. I really don't have that much time to fish today. I probably have like, I don't know, maybe an hour, like 50 minutes. And today I only brought one lure with me. It's this big swim bait from Life Target. And I know that's probably not the best choice for a really weedy pond, but the second half of this pond isn't too bad. I should be able to use it there a little bit. All right, I gotta reel this a lot faster. I know I said it was weedy, but are you kidding me? That's a little ridiculous. All right, let's see if spot number two works out. It's 12.02. I have about 50 minutes before I have to go. All right, yeah, this is definitely slightly better at this second half here. I was getting weeds almost every cast back there. Now the reason I stuck with this lure on my rod instead of switching it is um, just because this pond gets very pressured and I doubt somebody is throwing a swim bait this big here. So it's just something that the fish haven't seen. So maybe they might swing at it. So maybe they might swing at it out of instinct or something like that. Now this lure is supposed to represent a shad and I don't have any shad in this pond. But the thing is, this actually looks just like a crappie. So regardless if that's a shad pattern or not, it should still catch fish. Oh, no way! A little pickerel came and tried eating this guy. <laughs> that was awesome.
That was one mean pickerel. She came and tried taking a chunk out of my swim bait. Yeah, let's take a couple of casts here. And then we'll move to my final spot on this pond. How I'm fishing the swim bait back to me is basically almost like a straight retrieve. And then sometimes I'll pull like a little hitch in the straight retrieve. And what I mean is I'll just cast out like normal and I'll start reeling in about medium pace and then I'll stop it and twitch it and keep going. And I'll stop it and twitch it and keep going. Just to switch up the action a little bit from a straight retrieve. Cause say if something's following it, and they see that slate slow down or speed up, they might react to it. All right guys, that is it for today. Unfortunately, I didn't hook into a fish with that swim bait, but I mean, that's really okay because I saw that sweet otter, which I didn't even know there were otters at this pond. But I think that is awesome. Not to mention, I'm gonna be starting a native fish tank with just small species in my 55 gallon fish tank. And I found this thing. I think this thing is really neat and I think I'm going to clean it up and eventually put it in my fish tank.